history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. This is Cleveland Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Cardiff here, ahead of Joshua Parker this weekend. I'm joined by PBK, Pretty Boy it? Kelly. What is happening? What's happening? <laughs> I'm all good. <coughs> I'm so, we haven't seen you since Jamaica. No, it was raining over there, and it looks a bit rainy down here, so um, the weather hasn't really changed, has it? No. I literally saw you on your last day, didn't I? I know, eh? I was... <laughs> you were all banged up in bed, weren't you? Was, For a day, yeah, and that was the day, actually, so... Oh, I lad, I come wandering past, and I was like, what's happening? That's cooling. And then one thing rolled another night, I jet off at home. I was jetting off that day, weren't I? I know, so we never had that night out. Uh, what night out? No, I'm saying we never had that night out. I don't go on that job. No. <laughs> I'm not trying to incriminate you, I'm, I'm just saying we never did, obviously. Um, yeah. I've got a fiance, I'm not only married. Obviously. I'm steady. <laughs> All right, okay. I didn't even ask anything. I just said oh, we, I said I we want never had. on the defence. I said we never had a night out, that's what I said. So then you, you come up with you're the rest. Put, you're putting the words into my mouth. <laughs> Carlos Molina. Yeah. Um, yeah, very seasoned and been in with a lot of good fighters yeah. and been in a lot of tough fights as well so how do you kind of assess him for this weekend what kind of Carlos Manila are you expecting I'm expecting a good one oh, he's been um, been taught on the talk a lot of the time on social media and stuff I don't really, don't really check up on it but what I've been told he said he's been training hard for a fight coming up and this fight got off it but I mean um, we're ready to deal with the best Carlos Manila I haven't been watching his recent videos I do watch a lot of videos of new opponents, but I'm watching his um, his most he's he wonder he's fought Ishi Smith and people like that for the world title. I was watching him off that, so I'm feeling quietly confident. And um, going into Saturday, I feel as we all are. This is your sixth fight. Sixth fight. Sixth fight. Sixth fight. And we've heard comments from your trainer Adam that he wants to kind of make these step ups kind of sooner rather than later. And you're definitely getting him after six fights to be yeah. fighting Carlos Molina. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm doing bits in the gym, so Adam can see that. And um, I think if I wasn't doing them bits in the gym, Adam wouldn't be pushing us as fast as he is. Because I come into the pro game just quite naive, and I didn't really know where, like, I didn't really know where I was going to go. I knew I was good, but I didn't know how good I was in the pro. Because pros and amateurs is totally different. So uh, you got to be a lot more tough and a lot more dedicated to the game. And I did. I've really, truly dedicated myself as a turned professional and become a pro athlete. And then. Um, I mean, I think that's what's making us take the strides where I am now and I'm making big strides in the gym, so Adam's putting it in the work and he's matching us and getting these opponents. This is kind of the yardstick now for the level of your fight, so not necessarily. I'm not sure. <coughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see what the outcome. I, I truly believe that I put a good performance on, on um, Saturday night and I will win against Carlos Molina and I'll get that first belt, which is not obviously... It's a nice belt to have, WB International, it's not, it's not, it's not a shabby belt, to it's nice, really nice, so I can't, um, I can't wait to get that around my waist and um, look at the next one and um, never never look past my opponent, but I'm just um, really, really confident. So. I will ask you about, obviously, someone who's come to prominence recently, and Mr Lewis Ritson, who oh, yeah. you've got a bit of uh, history with yeah, Josh, but he has impressed in his last three yeah. fights, his fights with uh, Robbie Barrett and... Joe Murray and recently Scott Cardle and yeah. suddenly Mate. come onto the scene. Mate, he's burst onto the scene, you know. He's burst onto the scene. I know, obviously, Lewis has shared a ring with him. Had my first senior fight with Lewis. I was 17 on his own show. I remember it now. It was a, um, it was a rough old fight. But, um, I mean, he's, he's flying now. And it's only doing the North East well, do you know what I mean? I wish all the North East lads well. I, was, I, I felt a bit like... I felt a bit like I was flying the flag by myself for a second. It was too much pressure. So I think Ritting can hold it for a bit now. <laughs> and then um, we'll see where it goes. But no, he's, he's flying. I mean, coming off. Who's he who's beat? He beat um, someone for the British. Uh, Robbie Barrett. Robbie and Barrett. then he's Joe Murray in a round. Joe and then Murray. Scott Cardle in two Cardo. rounds. So he's doing the domestic. He's seen to clearing up domestically. So there's no reason why he shouldn't be taking big steps up soon. And um, I, I believe he's big enough and strong enough to do that. Hmm. The question is, obviously there's a little bit of a weight difference between you at the moment. Oh, between me and him? Yeah. Oh, are you trying to stir the pot? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, is that what it is? I asked him about it the other I day, he fancies it. 
he fancies you. Yeah, well, listen, at what weight, I don't know yet, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, he, he was quite open to it. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. You never know. Well, we never know. But obviously, you two are the plan is for you to fight on the, the card Eddie Hearn's proposing for June the 16th, yeah, is it, station, in Newcastle? Obviously, yeah, I mean, I'm talking ahead <laughs> about three months, but you have yeah. got a fight on this week, yeah, I'm just, like yeah, I said. I mean, I'm always, I'm, I'm down for whatever, you know what I mean? I'm taking yeah. Carlos Molina in the sixth fight, so there's no reason why I wouldn't take anyone. <laughs> if Adam puts him for this, Adam says, you fight A, B and C, I'll fight A, B and C, you do this, I'll do that, so... I'm just listening to the coach and moving forward. So whatever obstacles in the way need to be, need to be cleared, I'll do it. So it's exciting times for the North East anyway. Massive, massive. Got people like um, Thomas Ward, Joe Mufasa, um, another North East lad, Glen Foot. They've got lo- we've got loads coming through. Do you know what I mean? Not coming through. I mean, these lads have been there for a while now and just started. To, we're all starting to get the recognition we deserve, and I mean, it's I was sort of it's good it's good to be um, taking the boxing back up the northeast because there's a lot of shows all the way around the country, but there's not many in the northeast, so it's um it's good to get back there, and I mean, I'm just I just love the support from around everywhere where I get it from. I'm I'm not really fussy, but uh, the northeast um, it's going home, so it's good. What's your prediction for the main event? Joshua Parker. I see Joshua winning, but I don't, I don't, I don't know how because obviously I haven't been looking into it as much as my personal fight. But I've, um, I see Joshua winning. I feel he's always too big and too strong for anyone. And every division at the moment, and um, there's a couple of names out there who's big like Wilder and stuff. But he come to that hill when he will have to cross that bridge when he comes to it. So. Josh Kelly, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? I like that tracksuit, by the way. You like it? Hmm. Do you want it? Do you, do you, do you want a made one? PBC on? Is it Box Raw? Yeah. Shout out yeah, to it Box is Box Raw, yeah. Shout out to Box Raw, my man. Yeah, it's quite good. The plug. What is happening? I like the that. Plug. See the back? Oh, shit. I like it. Who's person in? Oh, oh, it's Burnett. Burnett. Hey. Burnett. Make it two for the price of one, you like Scott. Well, yeah, no, they did it in the you did it in the ring together. That's why. Two for the price of one. Give me all the WBA stuff. Yeah, I got one. I, I got one. I got look. I, I, didn't, I didn't get that one. That's a Canelo one. That one. Isn't it? <laughs> He's been eating the meat. Why? <laughs> 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 <No. laughs> no. Take a seat. Take a seat. Actually, let this happen. Sorry. <laughs> In the gym, who <laughs> in the gym who loves a freebie more than anyone else? Oh, do we want to grass our gym mates up like this, or should we? Well, no, it's just it, everyone loves a freebie. Should we throw them? Should we? <laughs> we'll do it. We'll say it at the same time. Charlie Edwards, <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. Really? He loves it. Oh, I'm, uh, he's on everything, and I took inspiration from myself. I started t- uh, talking to everybody, and now I'm getting all the free stuff. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get the freebies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Charlie Edwards for that one. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. A- any examples of stuff that Charlie's got for free? To be honest, <laughs> what pretty, you pretty much everything. No, I'm not, like, no because everyone loves free mothers. stuff anyway. It's not. We, we were we were sitting in the. He's, put, he's putting us on the pressure here, Adam. Get Start without me. Start <laughs> 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 <Son> of a. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want him all doubling up today, so I thought, you know. We like a bit of that. Like a bit of doubling up. Yeah. Chief. Just talking about That's Charlie Edwards. Said. Um, how are you? Good. Good. Can't wait for the way in now and have some grub. Definitely. <laughs> what was the idea anyway? Too just didn't want to do separate ones from because you couldn't be bothered or. Just... You're saying I'm lazy. No. I'm not saying you're lazy. I'm saying that was, could... that's what that implies, though, isn't it? No, I'm just asking. And you would be correct. <laughs> oh, okay. I it really. I just public workouts just feel a little bit embarrassing and cringy and just trying to hold it together as long as possible before slithering out the ring again and so I managed to talk them both into doing it at the same time <laughs> kind of worked though to be honest did it? yeah yeah, yeah it did kind of worked but obviously it's a chance for the fans to see their favourite fighters so that was the whole emphasis around it obviously Adam wasn't it? I see what you did okay um 
So, Mr. Burnett, yeah, it's all good free stuff. Yeah, free t-shirt and free hat today. Free t-shirt, free hat, free hand tip, free wraps. Why don't you take something back? Track was for free as well. Everything's for free. Why don't you take something back for Charlie? Because uh, he's probably all that he got uh, for free. He's, got, he's, got all he's all in there. He's all that he got for free. I like my WB stuff. I'm keeping it. I'm going to wear it all. I keep it mine. I was so happy when he came over to me. And I was like, here. And got you some WB stuff for free. I was buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> I will wear mine on Saturday night. All night. Do you want to wear mine for the Wearing his hat in for the ring walk. Vamos, vamos. <laughs> he looks like Canelo in that hat, not he? Like a mini Canelo. Look. <laughs> He looked at his jaw, he's been eating that meat! No, he <laughs> don't! <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, talk to me about your fight this weekend. Um, yeah, I'm fighting a WBA monetary challenger. Um, he's not in that position for nothing. He's a great fighter, I know exactly what I've got in front of him, but I've prepared correctly. Adam's put put together a great great, great game plan of what to do. So um, I'll stick with that, and I'm pretty, pretty confident that I'll be coming back with a win. Eddie Hearn talking about potentially some huge, huge fights for you. you. Get past obviously Saturday first, but a lot of things seem to be in the pipeline at the moment, right? To be honest, I haven't thought no further than March thirty first. Um, once I once I win on Saturday, then I'll go back to the drawing board and start thinking of of other plans. Well, my team will. I'll just go off and enjoy myself. That's the game plan. That's the plan. That's the game plan, baby. Who, who sent me a picture of you the other day in the car? Me. Who did you know, Ryan? Who did you see? I was driving down, I was on the motorway. I was on my way to Josh's. We were both going on a spa date. We were going to sit in a spa all day. And I was sitting in traffic, and next minute. Shout out, champions. Next minute, I'm on the motorway in traffic. Uh, Darren and Scott was there in a matchroom van. So oh, that's it, yeah. So I rolled down the window and just had a had a conversation with him on the motorway. <laughs> that's who it was. Adam, just move in a bit. What? <laughs> Careful. This will come out of your purse. Um, I don't mean like a boxer's purse, I mean your actual purse. Come in. Or come closer. You're too far away, come on. <laughs> creepy hands. Come on. Don't, don't massive, don't massive. Creepy yeah. hand, man. Oh, I look funny with small hands. If I had hands, just. You know. Alright, mate? That was a good discussion we had the other day, wasn't it? About. The, the discussion. Me, you, Spencer, Eddie, Derek. Oh, okay. Was it before? Okay. What did you Dick. call it? I don't know what I was talking about. Half no. the time I don't think about what I'm saying. No, but it was good, wasn't it? That's what I'm just. Okay, yes. Sounds like you want me to say yes, so I'm going to say yes, it was good. If you don't think right? it was good, if you didn't like it and thought it was shit, just say it. Well, I, I haven't watched it. <laughs> but you were in it. Yeah, no. First time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.